But that woman with the alabaster box, I want to say this. She was a wild, worldly woman and all of that. We knew that, amen. Probably done everything with everybody. But she came to Jesus with that box. And she broke it and poured it on him. The disciples began to rebuke her. Rebuke Jesus and said, well, look, this could have been, we could have used this money and given it to the poor. But what she had, the Bible says it was worth a year's wages. It was worth a year's wages. In today's economy, it would probably be somewhere between worth twenty dollars and $50,000. But in her profession, that's what she used. She covered the stench of sin with this expensive perfume. It can only be found in certain places in the world, the Himalayas. It, it took a whole lot to get that. But she got it. She got a hold to it. Amen. But when she got in the presence of Jesus, she began to worship him, and she broke that bottle. And she poured all that expensive perfume on him. And they began to rebuke her for doing that, talk about giving to the poor. She said, no, she's anointing me. She's, this, this is what's happening. You don't understand it, God, but she's anointing me. That's what she was doing for Jesus. But she, what she was doing to her was, she was saying she was making a statement of faith. That retreat is not an option. It's not an option. She said, I'm pouring this out. It's the most precious thing I got. This represents my past. This represents my pain. It represents who I was. It represents all the things I've done, the places I've been, all the sin, all the men that I've laid with. It represents all of that. I'm pouring it out on him because my statement of faith is this. I will not, I shall not, I am not going back. I'm done. She was saying, I am done. I am done. She said, today I put an end to sin in my life and that was her statement of faith retreat is not an option i will not go back i'm not going back and i make this declaration glory to god glory to god i make this declaration i will not go back